In this video, I'm going to break down the key differences between prebiotic and probiotic foods and why they work better together for your gut health. Stick around to learn which foods contain them and why they are essential and how they can transform your digestion and overall health. I'm Dr. Sethi, gastroenterologist. A lot of people spend money on probiotics hoping to improve their digestion, but they are missing half of the equation. Without prebiotics, you may not be getting the full benefit from your probiotic foods. In fact, studies show that people who combine probiotics with prebiotics experience better gut health, improved digestion, and even stronger immunity. Probiotics are microorganisms that live in your gut and help digestion, immunity, and overall health. They are found in fermented foods like yogurt, kombucha, and sauerkraut. They help improve digestion, fight off bad bacteria, and keep your gut healthy. But here is the catch. Those good bacteria need food to survive and thrive. And that is where prebiotics come in. What are prebiotics? Prebiotics are food for probiotics. They are the fibers that your body can't digest, but your gut bacteria can. Think of them like fertilizer for your gut garden. Examples of prebiotic foods include garlic, onions, bananas, oats, and asparagus. Why do you need both? If you only consume probiotics without prebiotics, these beneficial bacteria might not survive or thrive. But if you consume both, prebiotics feed the probiotics, allowing them to multiply and do their job better. Benefits of combining both improved digestion, reduced inflammation, boosted immune system, and potential mental health benefits. So here is the key takeaway. If you want your probiotics to actually work, you need to feed them with prebiotics. Otherwise, you might just be wasting your time and money. Probiotic foods introduce good bacteria to your gut. Prebiotics feed those bacteria. If you want better digestion, a stronger immune system, and better overall health, make sure you're getting both in your diet. So what do you think? Have you been consuming probiotics without prebiotics or are you getting both? Drop a comment and let me know which foods you are consuming for your gut health and don't forget to subscribe for more gut health tips.